All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Springtime Osmania Free for All Tournament 3. And here we are. Oh, here we are with a Dodgers gadget as the first warm up in between these two players. I was about to say teams. I'm just like confusing myself a little bit with Taiko, Work Up, and Soft. Metros and AMD are going to play each other now to see who advances through the quarterfinals of the loser's bracket and survives yet another week up until the semi-finals. Whoever takes this advances forward, whoever loses gets eliminated out of the tournament. And we have Dodgers Gadget, uh, actually a long -term map. Even though most people will likely know this as... Uh, I remember this from being on Step Mania, I think it was. Pretty heavy jump stream map. For those who are wondering, I'm Juan Crystal commentating here, um, the host of the tournament. The match is being streamed by Kamo Poltergeist. I, I think that Kamo's not getting enough recognition in general for the tournament. He's doing a lot of work. And I wanted to give him the shout outs. But yeah, for those who are wondering here, it seems like both players are actually struggling quite a bit on this map. I will say that AMD is definitely the one being hit uh, the most on these patterns. Longness are clearly the weakness uh, of the Japanese player here. Maestris is holding his ground quite well despite being 10 a.m. for him. Seems like a fun map overall. It's not the thing I was expecting. I was expecting more of a different type of imbus throughout the whole map. But it works alright, I guess. Simbers are very, very rude there. Matras is holding his ground though with a 98.4, but AMD is just not able to keep up with this. The moment he has a long hold and has to do something with the other key layouts, like on the other key layers, he just struggles completely and cannot keep up with it. His accuracy is dropping close to the 96 now. And that's it, that's gonna be the first warm-up here in favor of the Mexican, Metros. Gonna see what's the next one here by AMD. It's gonna be followed tomorrow. If I recall correctly, this is the artist of Ovoro? Or I, or I might be absolutely wrong. No, yeah, this is not the artist. Oh, yes, it is. I don't know. People in chat might confirm that fact. Oh, it is. I'm an absolute legend. I am proud of myself. But here we go. There, follow tomorrow the last warm up of the match. Just before we go into the actual beat maps, the actual bands. This is a very interesting battle between two very very solid players actually both of them defeating the two united kingdom powerhouses pope gadget and paper 
only trap secured, I think, is the remaining uh, player from the United Kingdom. He's gonna also face Electro later today. It's actually very, very cold right here in Argentina for those who... I, I mean, I, I don't imagine why would you be wondering that, but I'm just saying it's very cold at the moment. I also have my... Uh, I don't know how it's called. It's not my window. It's the thing that you use to cover your window. I have it closed, so yeah, that's also not helping. Yeah, I think it's called a curtain. Yeah, that's a curtain. Pretty sure. But as we can see right here on this warm-up, seems like AMD has a slight edge in favor of himself, really. <laughs> like, in terms of accuracy. I believe he had a combo break at one point, but his accuracy is insanely high right now. Oh, okay, that was an abrupt finish for the song, not gonna lie. But there is the play by AMD, very insane ratio, with only one miss and one 200. It's pretty clear for, for me and probably for all the B. Oh no, he was so close to get the number one roll and actually getting the roll on the Discord server. But regardless, I think it's pretty clear for everyone on this matchup, it's gonna be long nodes and SVs versus Rise. And you can see Mitra's is likely going to pick maps like Dolphin, maps like Rocket, like on the FM. While AMD is likely gonna go for the speed oriented picks, maybe everything will freeze and Scatman. Like the ban here for Mitra is gonna be Gluta Khan, and the pick is gonna be Evan. At the same time, we saw AMD banning Dolphin Talk, which makes sense as the LN consistency pick, and being a player that's more into Rise, it makes sense for AMD to ban that. But going straight to Ebony and Ivory here, one of the Longno picks, if I recall correctly. Which of course will make a lot of sense for, for my choice, considering he's like a long no player, or he's very well known for his long no abilities. And here we go. Kind of uh, annoying mini jacks here, but AMD seems to be holding quite strong onto that. We'll come down mostly just to the LNs here, and if actually AMD can keep up his accuracy and his combo through them. So far so good for him though, he gets a 100 on that, so the lead will go straight into my trust. Yeah, the accuracy from AMD is just going right down into the 99, and there's a drop, 98 now for him. And my trust is still holding up pretty decently, AMD is not being able to keep up with this long nose, not even on combo as his accuracy drops below the 97.5 now. The song progresses, Matrix continuously 
keeps his combo up on the 1100 here. Very, very solid performance. Oh, he gets a lot of uh, actually drops there on the slow jam, but AMD traces that out with a mess. And at this point, it seems pretty clear that Maestro is going to take this map unless something crazy happens right at the ending. The difference is huge here, 60,000 points. And that's it. That's going to be the point for Mitra's very solid full combo there with two 100s. 970,000 on a map like this is pretty, pretty respectable. Almost edging out a 90,000 points in his favor against AMD. But again, we might see that thing happening in the reverse way here with everything will freeze as the pick by the Japanese player. Here we go. See the Mitras had a little bit of a struggle at the very beginning, hitting a I think it was a one two hundred. Here we go then. Both players are still holding the full combo, so that's a bit of a hope for Mitra's. But this is a map that is fairly long. We're not even quartered into it. Man, the ratio here by AMT is actually disgusting. He his hit concentration is so centered. I mean, he's actually straightening out a little bit now, but on that stream, he was hitting so many Rainbow 300s. That was actually very, very pleasing to see. Scores though are not that far off here. There's around 4,000 points of difference here between these two. It's still halfway into the map. So there's still quite a decent amount of time for any of these players to choke at any point. And this mini lens could trip up AMD a little bit in his accuracy, but it's not looking to be the case. Mitrus is starting to drop a couple of 200s onto this, but his combo is still intact. And double full combo still means that Mitrus has chances to come back into this. But with a third of the map remaining, it will require a drop from AMD and probably a pretty, I won't say big one, but just one miss might not make the difference here. He will need some accuracy chokes as well. There is the first 200 by AMD. There's another one. The LNs are tripping him off a little bit. He's actually dropping. No combo breaks though by any of these two players. The actors are getting a little bit closer, but it's still 0.2% of difference. It's a big margin in favor of the Japanese player here. Back into the mini lens here. This is the last chance for Mitros to catch up, but he needs a miss. Otherwise, this will be 1-1 now tied. 
And with the last couple of streams here, it's not going to make it. There's a 200 there by AMD, but a miss is not happening. And at this point, it just looks like it will be a victory for AMD. And the score is now back tied 1-1 one one, with 6,000 points of difference in favor of AMD. Only three 200s and, well, 300 normal 300s in favor of AMD. I reckon a miss might have not be enough just because of the ratio difference, but it will have been very, very close. Going straight into on the FM here, but I trust no surprise. Going straight for long note. And here we go. Let's see. On the FM should be a pretty comfortable pick for my trust. Although, it's one of those long note picks that is pretty tricky. I, I, I recently played this and got a 97, so, and then eventually played it and got a full combo. So it's it's very hard to be consistent on a map like this. But that also comes down for AMD, which is struggling quite a lot of keeping accuracy on this. A lot of drops there, and there is the combo drop by AMD. Manchus manages to pull the combo out through this. No combo drops so far after that one by AMD, but the accuracy difference is very, very big here. 1.2 in favor of Mitros. He's dropping a couple of 200s in one of his mini lens, but it's not going to make that much of a difference. He needs to have a big choke on this transition. The one third transitions could trip up any of these players, but I feel AMD might be the one that's hurt the most. And there it is, starting to see the misses there. A couple of 100s as well on top of it, and he's not able to read the inverse here in general, mostly due to the one third rhythms. It's quite complicated to follow properly. But there is the full combo by Mitros. I think Mitros has full comboed every single map he played so far in this match, so the three of them. So, very impressive stuff here by him. It's gonna be a 2-1 now in favor of the Mexican. 973,000, that's a pretty solid score, but I reckon it could have been improved a little bit. 23 normal, uh, normal. 23 200s and 3 100s. It's funny because on the previous map, which was AMD's pick, there was a 300 normal 300s uh, of difference in favor of the Japanese player. And here is the other way around for the Mexican player. So it seems like the ratio in general for LNs is way stronger for Mitros and on the other way around for Rise. Here we are now on Serenkov Radiation here. The pick by AMD. Very techy pick here, but Mitra is actually leading so far into this. AMD has some issues 
on this transitions in general, but the axes are pretty close to each other. It can very go well go anywhere as these axes are now exactly tied. AMD takes back the lead, but not quite a big difference. Mitrus is still fighting for it. But this weird patterns in general are being a bit too much for Mitrus to keep up. But there's a miss there by AMD on the jump drill, right after the jump drill. And that's gonna give a boost to Mitros. He just needs to hold his combo and his accuracy around his level so far. That should be enough to maintain him on the lead. Doesn't need to outperform him anymore, but there's a lot of 200s there on the transition. Once again, the jump drill, no breaks this time around. But the scores are catching up a little bit. AMD's back on the lead accuracy wise here with a quarter of the song remaining, but the combo drop. Proving to be a bit too much for AMD to recover, although the accuracy is just getting higher and higher and scores are getting closer and closer. Mitros has to not drop a single more 200, but there's the miss by him and the scores goes right back into AMD's hands at the very ending. First drop by Mitros in the entire mat. It's gonna cost him his first break point. And AMD, after a little bit of struggle, will take this. Seven cup radiation pick by 3,000 points. Very, very close battle here between these two. Mitrus now has to pick once again. He had his chance on this beat map. He is showing that AMD has to be very, very careful with his picks. One single mistake for AMD will cost him the match if Mitrus plays it cleverly. And he is so far playing it quite fine. As long as he just plays the long run maps, Mitrus should be fine. But now that one of them was banned, the two of them have been played already. There's still Rocket, Rocket for him to pick, but he is going instead for Recession. So more for an SB pick, in general, the advantage that Mitros had on the long note piece has been so huge that AMD has to be very, very careful. It seems like the picks that Mitros has are in general way better than AMD's picks. But for this one in particular, recession, speed ups and slowdowns for the most part. Maybe AMD can keep up with this. I feel that if he trained it just a little bit, he might have a small small chance against Mitros here. <laughs> I like how that <laughs> Sorry, am I putting you off? That's kind of the same, Razzy. But here we go then, Recession. By Amplitude. It's gonna be the choice here by Mitrus. Feeling more comfortable with this than Rocket. And AMD is looking quite fine onto this so far. His accuracy is very, very good. And Mitrus' accuracy, on the other hand, is quite low in comparison. This might be the sneaky point that AMD was looking for. This is no good news for the Mexican player at all. His accuracy is just way, way too bad compared to AMD here. And I'm sorry for using that word, but 3% of accuracy disadvantage on your own pick is quite a bit. AMD is just absolutely destroying this speed map as nobody expected. AMD is really looking for his battle once again against Intel. He wants to prove the process of power. This course is still with 3% of accuracy deficit in favor of um, AMD's right now. And I won't say it could go anywhere because AMD just seems to be on full control of this beat map. Like, actual madness. I was not expecting this performance by him at all. 
Yeah, those are not the commentators, my friend Pasokana Satay Satim, I think that's the way to pronounce it. I am Huang Crystal, the only commentator for this match. And there is a drop, by the way, by Mitros, which although the match has was probably already decided at this point, it's gonna just hurt his score even further beyond. And another one there. Still waiting for the most noticeable speed up change here, which will be taking place around some seconds. But seems like it's just hitting Mitra's harder and harder as AMD keeps going and rocking with a 99.5. It's actually unbelievable how well AMD is playing the map. Like, nobody expected AMD to be the one practicing the SV maps. And even so, with Mitra's being the one picking it, getting such a low performance, I wouldn't pick this map against pretty much anyone really if I had this score. I'm not saying it's bad by any means, like 96.5 it's fine, but you kind of have to expect better plays from most players up to this stage here. Here we go with the stutters here, not quite challenging, but definitely visually heavy to follow. And AMD is just destroying this map as it's nobody's business. He's gonna get the full combo with 99% accuracy, even on this long position. What is wrong with him? A lot of misses by Mitrus on the other side, but AMD is just... It's just unbelievable how well he played on this map. Full combo for him, 99.40 almost percent of accuracy. Only 19 to 100. That's just, that's just mind blowing. I have to say that. It's just playing out of his mind here, AMD. And here's the question now, what's AMD going to pick here? It's the first FC by him, apparently. I, I, I cannot explain on verse how much that performance from AMD surprised me. I'm not very familiar with him in general, but I knew he was very, very solid when it comes to Rise. But on this kind of SB, even with a lens mixed on top of it, that was just out of his mind. I'm mean, gonna go straight into Scatman now, the speed pick of the pool. I'm Scatman! Here we go here on Scatman, this is Scooby Dooby Melody. And this is gonna be hard for my Mitras now. They he lost his own pick, so now he's it's an uphill battle here to try and win it. Because he needs to score a breakpoint and he also needs to win all his remaining picks because he lost already once one of his own picks, which means that he probably doesn't have much better choices. And that's gonna be very hard for him to recover from. Had to remember though that AMD was very close. Oh, that's a hundred. My score just froze. I don't know what happened on the stream, but right now the score is is frozen here. Oh, and it was not a hundred. Okay, we're good. Okay, the client, the client is just going nuts a little bit. But here we are, back again. AMD is holding a very solid 
but the speedy sections could definitely trip up any of these two players. I reckon most likely my trust, but still, if he can keep the combo up, we already seen on the map before that he has chances to take rice picks out of AMD if a miss happens. The accuracy between these two isn't that big of a difference. 0.2% of accuracy advantage for AMD. Processor power here definitely showing off. Wait, we. I'm not so sure actually. Is Intel or AMD as processors? Who's the one that can handle the fastest? Right? Because this is a speed map, right? This is a speed pick of the poll. I, w I will actually love to compare scores between Intel and AMD here, but unfortunately Intel is not going to play this weekend. Scores are now 0.3% of distance, so Mitrus definitely a little bit behind, and I think a miss might even not be enough for Mitrus to recover here. And I believe that AMD is just b one lessing at this point. I haven't seen a single 200 drop by him. But his ratio, a bit of the poor side. I could be also completely wrong, and he maybe he got a couple of 200s that I couldn't see or I couldn't catch. We. Bubbles is still full combo. Mitchus is eventually dropping 200s in a couple of the rolls, and now there's a break. There's the miss on one of the anchors here. And that's no good news for him. He needs a miracle now to be saved on this map. There's a 200 by AMD, but it's not gonna matter too much here as AMD is still holding his full combo with incredible accuracy. So now with this, which is looking already decided in favor of AMD, 4-2 for him. I wonder what Mitra is gonna go for. He still has uh, anti-crystal. He still has rocket. Oh, but that's a miss from AMD. I don't think it's gonna be enough. The map is almost over, but watch out there. You gotta be careful with those misses. The accuracy advantage is way too much in favor of AMD. That's not gonna matter all that much. This is gonna be a 13,000 points in favor of the Japanese player here with only three 200s. Legend. And, of course, Mike just going straight into Rocket. And to be fair, I think this is the pick before this one wasn't actually that bad. Because, in general, what you will normally do is pick all the longer maps first, because those are, those are your free wins. But I feel that mixing one of the risky choices, like the SV map that Mike just picked, was fine to do so. Because, imagine he picked Rocket, he wins it, and now the scores will be 3-3, three, three, right? He picks the SV map, he loses, and AMD is on match point. So right now, he has a little bit of a buffer time, and he can recover morale-wise with this pick if he manages to win this. But as it is frequent, he drops a 200 on the first mini lens. AMD, though, is holding quite strong in terms of accuracy, but that's likely going to change when the long no section starts to take dominance into this. And here we go. There are the drops for AMD, but there's also a reasonable amount of drops for Mitrus in terms of accuracy. AMD is somehow still able to keep up with this combo, but his accuracy is a bit too low. And there is the miss dropping right into the 97s now, and a lot of misses from AMD. Mitrus is looking to take this point without many complications. Here we go on the transition just before the storm. Mitrus is holding a commanding lead of 30,000 points here. 1.2-ish percent of accuracy advantage for Mitrus. 
And as long as he doesn't completely mess up the ending, he should be alright to take this point. Here we go, once again in the alliance versus just AMD is the one having a lot of difficulties and might just casually have seen this as if, not, as if, as if it was nobody's business. It's, he managed to rock through this map, haha, <laughs> get it? Well, AMD is just not able to keep up at all, 97.64 hit and Mitrus is gonna take this pick with a pretty solid score here, 99.15. 972,000, maybe improvable, 28,200, but definitely very, very good full combo for him. That's something I, I kind of haven't been noticing about Mitros. His combo abilities are very, very solid. But when it comes to accuracy on a lens, he's having some issues already on the quarterfinals here. I, I reckon he's going to get stronger if he manages to go through and play on the semifinals because his combo abilities are just going to carry him. But it's like the danger zone where his accuracy is not good enough to like compete with the accuracy long no players. But his combo abilities are very, very good too. It's it's a bit of a of a mix. But right now we're going into freezing my Alstrom here. Picked by AMD. And if I recall correctly, this was the consistency pick. I could be wrong. Yeah, this is the consistency pick. And I reckon if there is one map that Mitros can take out of the Rice maps, it will be this one if he finds a miss from AMD. Because I feel like AMD is going to have an unbelievable ratio on this. But again, a miss could definitely make up for that ratio if Mitros can keep up well with this. This is probably one of the easier maps in the pool, and Mitros should be able to combo through this if he doesn't find any unfortunate choke. And there's the miss by AMD right on the trail transition. Not a good start for him, and I was calling this. I was so calling this that a miss from AMD could be crucial in a map like this. But again, this is very early into the map, and it could very well go anywhere if AMD just tightens up his ratio as much as he did on the last time he played. Because the miss wasn't even on the 400 combo cap, which gives him even more room to recover. Look at him going, his accuracy, his hit concentration is so centered at this point and his accuracy is just going to climb back up, it's going very very fast up into the 99.82 and Mitros drops a couple of 200s there on one of the transitions, now he's behind on accuracy and he needs to watch out because AMD is right behind his toes. You can say the scores are neck and neck, but he's still in favor of Mitros by just a little bit. Accuracy from AMD just climbing back up even further beyond once more. Score difference is about 2,000, maybe 3,000 points at best in favor of Mitros, and it's still halfway through the map. It can go anywhere. There's 300 combo difference between these two players. Mitros cannot afford a single mistake, otherwise. AMD is going to take that chance in his favor, and you can see now clearly the difference between these two is 2,200 points. And it can very well go anywhere. The ratio from AMD is solid as, as a rock, really. It's very, very strong. But again, the miss is making up that difference, that deficit in terms of accuracy that Mitros has. But it can very well go anywhere. Dropping a couple of normal 300s for Mitros is already big enough for him, but his accuracy is now on the 99.8, sitting there with 0.1% difference, and AMD is fighting with all he has, not dropping a single normal 300 through most of the streams. Look at him going! The accuracy from him is unbelievable, and this hit concentration is so centered that he might actually make it right at the end of the beatmap. 
very, very solid accuracy, and he's fighting for it. He's not giving up. He's pushing as much as he can for it, and there's just a couple seconds remaining, and the scores are getting so, so close. AMD's even climbing for it. He has one miss at 99.92. Can he make it? Can Mitras keep up his combo until the very end? Will that be enough to keep the lead in his favor on the last jump turn? And it is! By 1,000 points with one miss and 99 normal 300s by AMD. What is wrong with this guy? Jeez. Double digit 300s for AMD, but that one miss is all that takes for Mitros to get back into the game here with the breakpoint. 4-4 four, four now, and this is tied back again. Mitros has anti-crystal to force the tiebreaker. And let's see, he goes for it if he actually practiced it. He has no more long no mass remaining, if I recall correctly. But man, that score for AMD is nuts. Man, what was that? That was 30 to 1 ratio. And it's gonna be anti crystal. It's gonna be anti crystal, the pick. It's she's hunting me, is what remains for AMD. And they also have the Jack pick, if I recall correctly. Uh, what was the name of it? Um, I think it was. Glucagon? I think it was Glucagon. But yeah, Anticrystal seems like the only choice really here for Mitros. <laughs> then after this, we still have one more map that AMD has to pick from. In between, she's hunting me and Glucagon. And man, this is gonna be insane. Once again, Mitros fighting for his tournament life. The same thing goes for A and D here. Oh man, the song is also so ominent. Oh, Glucon was banned. Okay, that that makes sense. So then the last pick will be Final Tower? Yeah, Final Tower. Oh man. This is gonna be decided by either the tech section of the intro here or by the SV. And I will say, it's actually surprising that Mitros is holding the lead onto this intro. But it might just change at any moment. But AMD, oh man, AMD is not getting that SB right. And it, that is just screaming lack of practice. And that's good news for Mitros. But he gets and miss himself. So back again, tied in terms of combo values. But the accuracy is on favor of the Mexican player who's fighting as much as he can to at least force the tiebreaker here. And here we go. 99.3 for Mitros, 98.88 for AMD. And boy, this will get intense on the ending. When the SV start to take place is when we will see likely who's gonna take this map. And here it comes. Mitros having a bit of difficulties. Actually, AMD is nailing this completely. Takes the lead back out of Mitros' hands. And I cannot believe what I'm seeing, man. Here, the long nose are not killing AMD at all. Instead, Mitros is the one struggling. Not being able to keep up with this at all. And AMD is looking favored now, taking this point. Actually, twice in a row that happens that Mitros picks an SB and gets the, the feed out of it by AMD and his practice definitely showing off that AMD is not an opponent you want to go for in terms of SVs.
and he takes the map. He's on match point, and he has the last choice here between she's hunting me and Earth Tower Devotion. What it's going to be, and I reckon the pick has to be she's hunting me. I think the longer the map can go, the more it favors AMD, and she's hunting me. It's just screaming, pick me. Oh man, it's gonna be Tower. It's gonna be Earth Tower Devotion. It's gonna be GQ Toe Devotion as the last pick of the match. Regardless of what happens here, if Mitrus wins it, it's gonna be Tiebreaker. If AMD takes it, he's gonna advance through this. And man, this is gonna be intense. I'm actually having issues catching my breath here. I'm pretty sure AMD has the upper hand on this regardless, but we have seen him losing the map like this before and very, very close to losing it twice, actually. So we'll have to wait and see here. AMD actually lost this map, if I recall correctly, against Pope Gadget, right? So I have to see if he can actually keep up keep up the combo here. If Mitrus can just secure the full combo, he will be in a decent spot. And I just want to see a tiebreaker, really. I don't even know what the tiebreaker map was, but I just want to see it. <laughs> the aggregates are very, very close within each other here, but Mitrus drops a 200 there. Gonna get him down a little bit. And oh boy, this could get very insane at the ending. It's barely getting into the second half here. The score difference is very, very minor. 0.15% of accuracy in favor of AMD, but the map has not gone as complex just yet. And it can't really go anywhere. I feel that AMD just has the upper hand. I don't think he will commit the same mistakes that he did against Pope. And I feel it's going to be an FC by him. But Mitrus is going to try his best, trying to negate that possibility. And into this transition, nobody drops. And with a third of the map still remaining, it will come down to the ending. This is the song of the hope. The Mitrus is having right now. He's aiming for that miss, but it's not happening. AMD is just rampaging through this map. But again, this harder section still remains. The mini jack doesn't trip anyone up. But let's see the BMS ending if it will get anyone. And there it is. The last couple streams is no misses for any of these two players, and it's looking like AMD will take it. Oh, but there's a miss by AMD at the ending. It's not enough. It's not enough. The Mitrus cannot take it despite the miss. Despite the miss on the ending by AMD, it was too late for Mitrus to catch up. It was not enough for Mitrus to catch up there. The miss by AMD would have been sooner. That was definitely a tiebreaker, but it happened on the last 30 nodes. The accuracy difference being a bit too much for Mitrus, and that is all she wrote for Mitrus here. That's the end of the tournament for the Mexican legend, and AMD will leave one more weekend into the semifinals. Very, very nice match. Well played by these two players. Mitros rocking the long no picks, even taking a rice pick out of AMD, not quite making it enough for the SVs. The SVs was definitely the key here, though. AMD taking both of them was the main game changer here. And with only 10 more minutes, or actually an hour and 10 minutes, 
until the next match, if I recall correctly, which is going to be the Toaster versus Dot. But this match, definitely the sales credit, was a very, very cool one. But hey, that's going to be it for me, for now at least, because I don't think I will be around for the next match. I have to do Taiko World Cup in around 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have some time to spare and you want to check it out, feel free to join the match between, I believe, Italy and Spain. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Not that big of a deal. As long as you stay around here for the match between Tov and Dot, that's all I'm asking for. But with that being said, I have things to do. And despite the amazingness of this match, I still have to give it a go. Yeah, I'm promoting my own tournament on my own tournament. What's the problem with that? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for me for today. And I will see you probably, hopefully on the showcase. If not, maybe a bit earlier, if not next weekend. So thanks everyone who tuned in and I hope you enjoyed it. See you now an hour and 10 minutes for those who want to see the next match. Uh, probably going to be around on chat, but not commentating. So yeah, yeah enough chit-chat. I'll see you now in a couple of uh, X time. Have fun.